Mm -hmm. Right. Well, it seemed like something wasn't adding up. Yeah, okay. Thanks, Ella. <gasps> okay. <sighs> I am going to tie a bell around your neck at some point. Oh, sounds like a fun bit of foreplay, but I have more important things to attend to first. Yeah, I'm sure you do, but hold on. Something's bothering me. The killer wiped the fingerprints off the handle, but not Debbie's blood from the blade. But the scissors were found at their home, correct? In the unlocked pool house, so anyone could have gained access to it. What, so you think the killer planted the murder weapon on the couple last seen fighting with the victim? That's admirably devious. John and Craig said that their check cleared. But Debbie told them the school never received their money. Oh, so she's lying. But what if she wasn't lying? What if somebody embezzled the money at the school? Debbie could have found out. She could have confronted them. And they could be the killer. So, you know, what we got to do? Check the books. See if there's a record of the donation. Right, so... Baby, why are you still in your PJs? You're going to miss the bus. I don't have time to drive you to school today. Hold on. Why don't you go and deal with the donation thingy and I can uh, take the little sugar plum fairy to school? Are you sure? For my partner, yes, I can sacrifice. You okay with that? Brilliant. <laughs> Trouble if my mom finds out. Well, instead of drive you to school and never specified which one. So, play along and I'll deliver my end of the bargain. Mr. Warning, sir? Yes. Hey, Mr. Taylor. Ah, here for the Starford tour? I am indeed. I am indeed. And this little creature who gets whatever she wants. Tracy Morningstar, nice to meet you, sir. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> ah, lovely.